My name's Anas Hamid, I'm a medical oncologist and I'm a, a researcher at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston um, and I have a particular interest in uh, the treatment of prostate cancer. Metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer is a less known um, disease stage with respect to uh, what are the drivers, what are the underlying biology that determine treatment outcomes. Much of our understanding of prostate cancers actually come from the bookends of disease, either really early localised prostate cancer or quite advanced castration resistant prostate cancer. And in fact, this sort of disease space in the middle, metastatic hormone sensitive disease, where there's been so much change in the last um, six years is ripe for studying and um, hopefully driving precision care by understanding the biology better. We see different populations within this metastatic hormone sensitive um, subset of patients. Um, most of the patients in these trials were actually what we call de novo metastatic disease. So these are patients that presented for the first time with evidence of metastases. However, there are a subset of patients that have relapsed after prior local therapy, such as radiation to the prostate or a radical prostatectomy. The screening question's quite controversial. Um, we do know that screening patterns in the United States and around the world uh, is evolving over time. Um, and the, actually the presentation of metastatic prostate cancer is also evolving. We don't have any definitive data linking the two in terms of cause and effect, um, but we, we do know the general patterns of which how men present with metastatic disease. We are working collaboratively and globally to um, really discover and validate biomarkers for men with metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. 